Here we are again at Whitburn. Uh, a cold morning, there's a nice fish just moved in front of me there. A cold morning, uh, about three degrees when I was coming up, I was reading in the car. Very calm, uh, not the best conditions I would say, but uh, it's to warm up a little bit, uh, go up to about 11 degrees. Early morning yet, so uh, we haven't even uh, started yet. Uh, nice overcast conditions. A few fish moving, funnily enough. Uh, I think sometimes with this temperature, uh, they tend not to, but there's quite a few fish turning. So we'll see what the day brings. Eating into the first fish of the day. Um, I don't know what it's taking yet. He's got a... I've got a snatcher. And... <laughs> A black hopper. Yep. But as I said, when I was reeling it, I didn't change it. Because I was going to just stick a looking cold out and while we were there. Giving them quite a, quite a tussle. Appears to be quite a decent fish. But you never know with the wood burn fish, sometimes the, the two pound, two and a half pounders will fight well. I know not till we see it properly. Jesus. Certainly running line off them. And uh, we had a wee problem earlier on when we started, Ian's line no, was... Uh, one. This is a V-shaped spool on this thing. Ah, right. So whether it collapsed back in itself? Possibly. But you had, a pro, you had a problem with your back and so you had to strip the whole thing right off, just as well you did. Still haven't seen this fish, it's, it's not showing itself yet. Don't think he's that big, but he's a decent fish. I don't know how they're right good look clear look at it yet. Nah, he's not that big. I see a bit of three, I think. Something like that, I would think. <laughs> Maybe no even that. I don't know, I see also it there, it's a long fish. Mm -hmm. We'll see it we'll up. See it when we get it in the net. Certainly giving you a good tussle anyway. I'll stretch a line if nothing else. Well, that's it. Appears to be on the top dropper, I think. I know, it's a snatcher. Right. Not a bad fish. Mm hmm. Well, there's more in than you think, eh? Mm hmm, possibly. There's more before. Than think. Ah, it is bigger than we think, you're right. Fish is a good five. Mm, four, mm. four, four, four and a half. Ah, well done. Good. And it's on the uh, snatcher. It's on the snatcher. Good. Oh. You manage? I, I, I would say there's more in that we think there is. Ah, uh, four and a half. Four and a half to five, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. how deep it is. Yeah, it's a good, good deep fish. Good, well done. Oh no, it's actually on the hopper. Oh, is it the hopper? It's on the hopper. <coughs> you look at thickness it? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep, yep. Ah, good fish, well done. I've uh, just hooked. My first fish, we got a very, very slight 
breeze came up and uh, I put on a hopper and uh, this fish is taking it uh, the wee ripple just makes a difference other than that absolute flat cam that we've had all morning so uh, it just shows you the, the difference that wee ripple makes and just my, my feeling is it makes the fly work a little bit better when there's a wee breeze um, also it helps to disguise the the leader <laughs> right good Maybe about two and three quarters, I would say. I still get the two black hoppers on. Uh, it's the only fly that they've shown interest in, and that's been minimal. But uh, we'll keep them on and see if we can get uh, any response to them. A bit better ripple again now. That makes all the difference in the world. Just if that sun would go behind the clouds, we've got half a chance. Not the best when it's as bright and Sparkly in the water like that. Fish don't have eyelids, so they don't, they don't like looking up into that. Same as we don't like looking into it. We have got eyelids. The sun's come on, going behind the clouds at last. Uh, and I've got a wee ripple back in the water again, so here's hoping I can move something. The strange thing is, when it's flat calm, there's a few fish moving. The minute the ripple arrives, they disappear, and it's, it's not a cold breeze or anything like that. It's actually quite mild for the time of year. It was only three degrees when I came out this morning, but uh, I would say it's sitting about 10, 11 degrees at the moment. 
There's a fish just moved out, way out in front of me. These conditions now are what you'd term ideal, but how long it will, the sun will stay off the water and the breeze will stay up, I don't know, because it's only going about, what, three, four mile an hour, the breeze, there's nothing to it, so it could quite as easily go flat calm again. Well, it's just coming up to about midday, I know, sorry, it's about half past twelve. Uh, since this very slight ripple arrived, I've rose two fish. I thought I missed the last fish. Actually, what happened is, and it just shows you, uh, you have old flies in your box, and you don't realise that below the dressing has rusted. I lifted into that fish, it was a good fish, I saw it, and uh, the hook snapped. <laughs> so uh, it's just something you don't know about, unless you physically see rust on the hook, uh, then obviously you discard it, but that one obviously been lying in my box for a while, uh, below the dressing's rusted, and uh, we paid the price for it. But uh, there you go, fish one can nil. Oh no, so. Sorry, I've got one. So that tiny little ripple up I've got just makes all the difference in the world to whether they'll come up or not. They'll, in the flat calm, they just would not look at the dries. Not that I've rose a lot, I've not. But at least that's two fish that I've brought up. It's been a hard morning. Uh, I'm just about to go for our lunch, so hopefully the breeze continues. Uh, I don't think it's to get very much breeze today at all. But uh, at least it's not like, uh, like it was early. Well, all morning, uh, just like glass. go. Oh, on and off. There's another one in. On and off. Well, this is us after lunch. The sun has now come out. Uh, the breeze that we had has dropped again. Um, I know I'd fish moving, but there you are, there's one right in front of me. But uh, it's going to be really hard going, I think. Unless the breeze comes back again, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. There's two or three fish moving, but whether they'll take in the flat cam, I don't know. We can only try. <coughs> you into another fish here. Again, on the grunter. Mm. 
Ja. En dan men is wel. Both of us got a fish on at once. Highly unusual. Ah, there you Trying to get in the weeds again. <sighs> Determined to get in the weed bed. So on the top drop of this one. Just cannot get it away for this weed bed. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. This does not want to come up. <laughs> oh. oh, come out of that wheat. Heading for the weed bed over the time. We want to give up this one. <sighs> Got to keep it away from that weed, but too much pressure on it.
determined it's going to go for the determined it's going for the weed bed. She's no real. I'm certainly not gi giving up this one. In the net and back out again. <sighs> I just cannot get its head up. That's a good fishing. Oh no, don't stay in, stay in. Oh no, no again. Goodness sake. Oh, next to we. I think so. <laughs> no, it's no, it's seven pound in the net. <sighs> seven pounds in the net. Then... Ian into another fish here. Uh, quite a long cast to come quite far out. Uh, don't know what size it is yet, we haven't seen it. something here better
You see what size it is? Not yet. I know, you can't get their head up, I know. <laughs> Giving them quite a battle anyway. <laughs> Maybe better than what you think it is, Ian. Five, four and a half. I think it's better than what you think it is. Oh, right. Is it? Hold them up in the net. Oh, aye. Yep, yeah, good. Eating into another fish. This is also in the grunt up. There you are. <laughs> no, but it's a fish. Hmm, that grunter doesn't want to float for some reason. Oh, I know. Even the small ones are hard to get their it's hard to get their head up. I know. Yep. Still not floating. <laughs> There'll be fish, be slime off that. Good. Into a fish here that's took the grunter. Not a big fish, I don't think. Oh. No, it's not. It's 
so we can keep it out of this weed bed which it's heading for Even the small ones give a good scrap. <laughs> Good Ian. What is that on? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Him. Right. You into another fish. Sorry. Is that the fifth one? Good. That's five apiece. Good. Ian into another fish. I think this is his sixth one. Again, it's on the grunter. Where he's fishing, he's saying there's quite a lot of weed and he's been losing fish in the weed, but looks to have this one under control, I think. We're in the, the last hour of the session and the wind's dropped away okay, again. But uh, we're still rising the wood fish. Uh, not a lot of fish, but we're, but they're uh, 
proving difficult to hook today because they're just the way they're rising. They're just sort of sipping the fly in, and it's been a bit difficult to make contact when the breeze was up a bit. A wee bit calmer now, but whether that will be good, bad, or indifferent remains to be seen. A nice sky. Turned into not a bad day at all, considering that uh, started off at 3 degrees. It's been no bad at all for uh, kind of middle of October. Well, that's the end of our session. Uh, we've had 11 fish between us, Ian said 6, I've had 5, uh, lost a lot of fish, Ian hooked another 5 or 6 and dropped them. All in all, we've had a good day, but we've had to work hard for it because of the, the flat calm. But an enjoyable day. Until the next time.